Japan Sport Council held a sport event called Paris Sport Quest for children in Indonesia as part of Sport for Tomorrow program. The aim of the event is to enhance mutual understanding between children with and without impairments and to raise interest in Paris Sport. They could get four keys after finishing their tasks at the event. The keys showed where the treasure was and the shape of shape of a football was built when the four keys were put together. Before the event, a training session was conducted for the teachers to enable them to organize the event by themselves. Thirteen teachers from a blind school and regular primary schools participated in the training. Mr. Taranishi, Japanese teacher, demonstrated the four games as an icebreaker so that people with and without visual impairment could enjoy together. <laughs> Officials from the education department participated in the opening ceremony of the event and also joined the game. All participants had a lot of fun with this game that they'd never tried before. This time, teachers will be facilitating the game. Then, a teacher suggested that when the kid who lost the game of paper, rock, scissors and ran around the kid who won, it'll be best if the kid touched the other kid while running. That'll make it easier to know what's going on for the blind. <laughs> the second day started with a global training. After explaining the goal ball, everyone set up the cart and prepared for the event. The labels that show the location of the treasure were made in Braille. These were labeled in the back of four keys. This way, children who can read Braille would be able to do well. After making the cart, they put on eye masks called eye shade and tried out goal ball with the same procedure as a real event. Mungkin uh, suatu pengalaman yang terbaru yang nanti akan anak-anak uh, dapatkan. Sebelumnya saya juga di masa perkuliahan sama pendidikan belum pernah mendapatkan hal-hal seperti ini di mana saya terjun langsung untuk mengajari yang tunanetra yang tidak bisa melihat dan di, dikolaborasikan dengan yang bisa melihat ini mungkin suatu hal yang sangat, sangat, sangat baru itu seperti itu kan sangat bermakna sekali oke okay, terima kasih here comes the real event there are 12 students from a school for the blind and regular schools um, saya sih senang juga bertemu dengan teman-teman baru dan Mungkin kalau misalnya saya uh, apa tidak mengikuti gorbol itu mungkin saya tidak akan bertemu dengan teman-teman baru saya. Ya deg-degan ya tapi biasa-biasa aja. Teachers plays a role of teachers seriously in front of their students. Their attitude changed from when they had fun with the games at the training. A teacher from a regular school suggested that a child who lost paper, rock, scissors should dance around the child who won. Children loved this idea. After the game, each group played paper, rock, scissors against teachers to win the key. Some groups had already started reading the hint in Braille. 
Udah, Bu. Apa? Sekeluar kalian paling tidak. Ingat, kunci yang pertama nanti cari ke sudut. Children learned how to walk with children with visual impairment. The teachers made obstacles so that children work together to avoid those. Children helped each other and moved around safely in order to get the second key. After the icebreaker game, they finally got to try Golbo, which is an official Paralympic sport. The children put on eye shade to have the same condition and they enjoy the Golbo game. After the game, they received the third key. They could get the last key when they hit the target with a ball. The group slipped the hands on the keys and started the treasure hunt. The treasure was shared among group members. In the wrap-up meeting, it was pointed out the event took 40 minutes more. They should work together better in order to manage time better. On the second day, new children joined the event. 12 students came from the blind school, and the same number of students came from regular schools. A blind teacher facilitated the icebreaker game. Teachers put chairs as additional obstacles for the games in which children move in pairs. Officials from the Ministry of Sports also joined the event and acted as obstacles. Everyone enjoyed the event. Teachers organized the event smoothly with good time management. It had been learned from the first day's wrap-up meeting. The children found the treasure after using the hand on the keys. Some students who couldn't find the treasure went out the hole, and teachers had to stop them in a hurry. With hand from the teacher, finally, all groups found the treasures. Ya, pengen jadi atlet. Atlet golbol. Hmm, pengen pengen sekali saya bermain di Jepang. Menurut adik-adik. Golbol. Golbol. 
gol boleh. Kenapa? Karena permainannya unik. Nah, mau yang pembol aja. Ya? Maka mau yang pembol. Luar biasa pembelajaran yang menyenangkan sekaligus memberikan alternatif bahwa melalui olahraga ini anak-anak bisa ternyata bisa setara bermain bersama juga melakukan aktivitas sangat kreatif inovatif barangkali nanti di level lapangan itu bisa dikembangkan atau bisa secara kreatif bisa disesuaikan dengan daerah masing-masing dengan kondisi sekolah masing-masing uh, saya uh, memang sudah memulai membagikan uh... Buku-buku tersebut ke 365 sekolah, meskipun belum seluruhnya, hanya beberapa kabupaten kota yang uh, sudah saya kirim. Uh, saya sampaikan kepada mereka, pelajari ini, pelajari ini dan kita nanti praktekkan di sekolah ini bagus sekali, uh, tidak saja buat anak-anak, tetapi juga buat kita, buat kita ini semua uh, bagus sekali. Children have gained a precious experience, new friends, and dreams through the event. These are more important than the treasure they found. These children and teachers will spread the power of SPAR. <laughs> Produced by the Japan Sport Council. Sport for Tomorrow program.